Hannah Do Set. Anyaseo. Hi, I'm Nancy. I'm a dance teacher and a dance performer here in Nigeria. Hi, I'm Success. I'm a dance artist and a dance teacher in Nigeria. And I'm Joy. I'm a dance artist here in Nigeria. And we are the Emerald. Our motivation for joining the K-pop competition is because of the culture. As a group, the Emirates love the culture of the Korean people and also we love um, the music that is K-pop. We love listening to it because it gives us a new feeling and a different vibe. So yeah, that's why we joined the competition. So we chose um, BTS Permission to Dance. It's a new song that just came up some days ago. And we picked this particular song because of the positive vibe that it comes with. As dancers living in Nigeria, is picking a career in dance is really difficult. So I just felt like we don't need the permission to dance. Like for what reason do I need to take permission to dance? So we decided to go with the song because of course we know that BTS, they are consistent, they are hardworking, they are hardworking boys, hardworking men. They've been in the industry for a long time and we just decided to just go with the song. Aside from the fact that it was compulsory for us to use a BTS song, we decided to use this song because permission to dance means a lot, especially to dancers living in Nigeria. And it brings out this whole positive, happy feel, happy vibe. So of course, why not do permission to dance? Yeah. And we chose our second song, which is Say My Name by Hyoli because um, Say My Name makes you feel confident as a woman and as a lady. It makes you feel sexy. It makes you feel proud of who you are. And also, we respect Yoli as an artist because she has been consistent in the dance industry in, and also in the music industry. And she's um, hardworking and she's also confident of who she is. So, yes, that's why we chose Say My Name by Hyoli. BTS. BTS. <laughs> Uh, I think our favorite group together is BTS and the reason is because we we were with them from the beginning of their like their career and we've seen how they've measured up from being boys to being men to taking over the music world globally we are so proud of them so like BTS for life what do you mean <laughs> Ami's over here like yeah <laughs> Ami's over here Okay, so um, I, my experience before K-pop was I was just dancing and not really taking on challenging routines or challenging dance styles. But ever since K-pop, you know how K-pop moves and K-pop choreographies are very intricate, like precision, transitions. Um, it has ch challenged me as a dancer based on how I want to improve dance-wise, not the African style of genre of dancing that's the afrobeat now want to go into hip-hop and you know like try the k-pop um style of dancing and with how intricate their whole movement is so i think it has improved my life as a dancer yeah um k-pop affected my life in so many ways i'll start by saying in my technicality um you know when you're learning k-pop routine it helps you become smarter yeah. and it helps you with your technicality your lines your structure as a dancer so before the whole k-pop competition or before k-pop uh, i was just dancing but not taking um, caution or taking note of my movement or my lines as a dancer but k-pop actually helped to improve that and helped me with my technicality and also my vocabulary as a dancer it yeah. helped to give me more movement when creating performances or dance styles so yeah I think mine is the newness that comes with K-pop. You know, dancing to a song that you literally don't understand. Mm. You're just moving to a beat and to the sound of a voice that you really don't know what you're talking about. But it just makes you happy, it makes you free. As a dancer, I feel like that's the ultimate, to be happy when you're dancing. And that's, yeah. it, it has made a difference in my dance in terms of being happy. I'm always smiling when... I'm dancing to K-pop regardless of the language. So yeah, that's that's, oh, that's mine. Nice, yeah. Okay, so as Gene of BTS we say he normally says that before he joined BTS he was just living life rec recklessly, yeah. Um I think it's the same thing for us before finding BTS. 
because with BTS, with the coming of BTS, like into our lives, um, we are more aware of who we are. That's one. We are accept. We are like we accept who we are, dance wise, because they've taught us to love ourselves, to be ourselves. They are not judgmental people, and so because you are, because you found a K-pop group that are not judgmental, you don't want to be judgmental. You want to be like them. You want to, you want to act like them. You want to reason like them. Like in situations, you'll be like, oh, what would RM do? And for anybody that knows BTS, you know that RM is a smart person. So you yeah. want to like, oh, what what will RM do in this situation or what? And I think mentally they've kind of like helped us kind of mentally the way we live our life the way we decide things the way we the way we would react to normally as a as an african person as a nigerian we want to we want to react harshly or react like in a certain kind of way but um our fashion sense has what what do you mean <laughs> have you seen j-hope's fashions airport fashion our fashion sense has improved you know our love for them has gone over the roof and i think that's it